Hello! In this video tutorial, you will learn how to work with the image window in 3D LUT Creator. If you have two monitors, the image can be opened in a separate window. This can be done via the menu Window Separate Image Window. This is useful if you want to use one monitor to display the tools of the program and the other one for the image. The image window is also used to view the reference image. The reference image is the image that you use as a reference of toning and color harmony. Let's load the reference. I go to the file Menu Load Reference Image. If you want to load the reference image from Photoshop, then click on the Import button while holding down the Control key. You can switch between the reference image and working image by pressing the Equal key. Let's adjust the image view. Basic commands are located in the View menu. Here you can see the keyboard shortcuts. I recommend learning them. By default, when you open the image, it fits the window size. This is useful if you work with a high-resolution image. But if the size of the image is smaller than the program window, it is better to display the original size. Let me show this on the reference. I go to the View menu and select Zoom 1 to 1. Let's move to our image and do some color correction. This picture is larger than the image window. Therefore, if I need to check the quality of the color transitions after applying the LUT, I can turn on the original size. To move the image, you can click on it anywhere with the mouse wheel and drag it. When you drag the image, you can see the original. Also, you can see the before image by pressing the backslash key. You can zoom the image in and out by pressing Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus or use the zoom tool on the toolbar. I prefer the tool that increases the specific area of the image. If I click the image, it fits the window again. We can make the same operations with the reference image. Let's consider the view menu. Here you can choose to display the individual image channels. This is useful, for example, when you are evaluating the noise level in different channels. You can also view the alpha channel. You can see the grayscale image as well as shadows and highlights. This is useful to verify the information in the deep shadows or bright lights, such as when shooting against a white or black background. In this mode, the details in highlights and shadows are clearly visible. For example, you can see the areas that require retouching. On the View menu, you can show the clip warnings or the areas of the image that become completely black or white. In the View menu, you can load external profiles if you need, for example, to see how the image looks when printed. Let's load the printer profile here. Don't forget to turn on soft proofing. Also, you can see the areas outside the loaded profile gamut by turning on Gamut Warnings. Now let's move to the Image menu. Please note, as 3D LUT Creator is a program that is intended primarily for creating 3D LUTs, the actions performed directly on the image itself cannot be undone. If I click, for example, Resize the image to 50%, the warning message appears. If you open the History window, this operation will not be here. You can only cancel the action that will be written to your LUT file, so be careful. Here you can rotate the image and flip it vertically or horizontally. Reducing the image to 50% can be used, for example, to speed up the procedure of auto-matching to reference. Here you can also crop the image based on the selection in the alpha channel. Let's select the image area with the alpha channel tool and crop it. You can then cut out a central part of the image and the reference. Sometimes image vignette leads to the wrong color matching. This command can crop it. Let's consider the last two menu items, Assign Color Profile and Convert to Profile. The Assign Color Profile means that the original digital information of the image doesn't change, but the display of the image will change according to the assigned profile. It changes both on screen and when printing. I choose, for example, Pro Photo Profile. Now choose sRGB Linear. Once again, the digital image information doesn't change. The way it is displayed is changed. 
The Convert to Profile, on the contrary, changes the digital image information so that our image in the new profile looks most like the original. The current image profile is indicated next to the file name in the title of the program window. I will convert the image into different profiles to show you how it works. If you want to bring your image to the original profile and color, you can reload it to the program. Let's consider how the compare mode works. You can adjust it via the view menu, but I recommend you learn the keyboard shortcuts. The compare mode is activated by pressing the letter C. The image window is divided in half. One half shows version before and the other one shows after. I will edit the image and now I can compare the before and the after. If you click on the letter V, then the horizontal orientation of the window changes to vertical. By pressing the letter A, you can swap in the image window, the before and after. If you press the X, then you will see half of the image with color correction and half without it. In this case, it is more convenient to compare the image when dividing it vertically. Press the V. After I press the equals key in the compare mode, the reference image will be shown instead of the after view. This is very useful when you want to copy the toning or color scheme from the reference and you need to constantly compare your working image and reference. You can close the compare mode by pressing the C again. That's all. Put likes if this video was useful to you and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.